Hello. Here we are. I painted through this sheet metal with the uh, Akin Turf John Deere. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus here. Right there's the number. Handy tip. Kind of expensive, but brake part cleaner cleans guns real nice. Spraying it with the 1 3 X tip Fine X there. Good spraying gun. Again, here's my primer. Here's the hardener for that primer. That's good stuff. I like it. it sprays real good. Right there. Let's see if we can get that. That's what we dilute the stuff with most of the time. You can get the John Deere stuff as well. I've been diluting this stuff 8 to 1 right there on my stick. The can says 10 to 1, but 8 to 1 gives me what I need. Here it is. I'll put a gallon. That John Deere paint don't go too far here. Let me see if this thing will adjust. That John Deere paint don't go too far if you ask me even reduced a little bit. Orange peely, I know, but it's just a tractor. Top laid out flat. That's good stuff up there. Really shiny. I hammered it on. Took me a gallon to do this. You could probably do it in less but I'm not afraid of packing this shit on. I mean, that's just the way I do it. At my full-time job, I'm responsible for a lot of mills. I read my paint. You're gonna spray this John Deere stuff, and that first coat's gonna go on like gold. You're gonna to wanna to say, it looks so good, I quit. But don't quit. You're gonna to have to put that second coat on there at least. And that second coat's really gonna take some work. Get all your edges. You know, you're not using electrostat, so you gotta physically get all your edges. It's all you, buddy. I wouldn't recommend painting this stuff upside down like this, unless you're really good at reading paint, where you got a light to stick underneath there, I'd flip it over like you'd see it. But I've been painting for 13 years, and I feel comfortable doing it, so I did it. You can kind of read shine there and stuff and I can see the wall in the paint you know plus I know how it's spraying I've got a good air compressor here I use that air compressor to its fullest limits I painted grandpa's tractor at home off of a 150 psi oilless craftsman and it sucked it sucked horribly it's all good shine Again, you got to get all the edges. It ain't going to wrap. It's not electrostat. You got to do it yourself. If you're going to do it and you want to do it right, get the material, get the air compressor. Don't be afraid to sand it down and redo it if you have to. I've sanded a lot of stuff down. I had to redo a lot of stuff. If you look here on the, my Facebook page, you'll see a trailer, Simpson College's trailer. Well, I had to sand that baby back down and that was a huge job. Oh, hey, look. Got to see mud. and mug in there. How about that? Oh, look. My other job right there. You can read it in my shirt. It's backward, but you can see it. Right there. That stuff looks good, guys. I'm going to go home. Get something to eat and play with the kids. You gotta love that. Look at that shine, boys. If you put it on like you've got a set, that's the key trick. Thanks for watching.